hey welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is taylor and this is taylor budgets so as you can see by the title of this video i will be cash stuffing for my second paycheck in march i'll actually be doing a little bit of everything in this video i will be cash stuffing my cash envelopes my sinking funds savings challenges and i'll be announcing the giveaway winner in this video that's exciting and then i also have some new cash envelopes i want to show you guys so it's a lot but it's going to be a great video jam-packed with money <laughs> so let's go ahead and get right into this video but right before i do if you're new i just want to say hey i hope that you consider subscribing i would love to have you join the fam we're lit over here and it's free gosh darn it is free so you might as well just do it it's not gonna hurt you so <laughs> let's go ahead and get right on into this video all right so first we're gonna go ahead and count this money so let me put my wallet and sinking funds binder aside and let's bring out this cash and count how much we have let me bring out my calculator just so i know i have the right amount so i have 50 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, one ten. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 41, 42, 43. All right, so $378 is what we will be cash stuffing today. So let's go ahead and move on to my cash envelopes first. And we're gonna go ahead and see how much leftover money I have from my cash envelopes. Now, my cash envelopes are new, which I absolutely love them. They are so pretty, so aesthetically pleasing. And I did purchase them from an Etsy shop. I will have it up here on the screen because I do not want to mess up her name, but it's Creations. If I'm gonna try, it's Creations by Shantigny, Shanting. I'm not sure. I'm so sorry, girl, that I butchered your name, but your stuff is amazing. And I have recommended her cash envelopes to about five or six people this week because they're just so beautiful and I love them and I think they go great with the color of my wallet. So her Etsy shop will be linked down below in my description box. So let's go ahead and see how much I have left over for from last paycheck. So for groceries, it's thick y'all. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 84. That's amazing. So everything but the $1 bills will be going off to the side. I'll let you know what I do with that later. And then all the ones will be going to my $1 savings jar. Household. Actually, so we had 
dollars. I want to see how much I have left over in total. So I'm going to count it. Household, we have 11. So this will be going off to the side. This to my $1 savings jar. Eating out has $3, one, day, one dollar savings jar. Lauren has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This will go off to the side and these will go into my one dollar savings jar. Miscellaneous. See, we have one, two, three, four, five. I didn't spend anything for miscellaneous. One dollar savings jar. And beauty has nothing because I just got my hair done, so that's depleted. Taylor has nothing. I used all of my personal money. And I went to the bank today and I put everything that was in this folder into my bank account. So that's good. And this is all the receipts that I need to scan for fetch. Y'all, I didn't, who caught that? I did not even add up how much I had from all the money. But luckily, I have savings trackers or spending trackers. So 84 for groceries, households, I had $11. Oh, God. It is 2 a.m. So that's my excuse. $3 for eating out. Lauren had $14 left. Miscellaneous had $5 left. Beauty, none. Taylor, none. So, leftover from last paycheck, $117. That is amazing. So, why am I closing this? <laughs> so, let's go ahead and stuff these right back up. So, <laughs> for groceries, we're stuffing $100. That's going to be three 20s. Two tens, three fives, and five ones. Okay, so in total we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. 95, 1, 2, 3, 4, 100. Oh, and I also want to mention that there are trackers in the back that you could use with a dry erase marker. I haven't purchased one yet. I don't have a dry erase marker, so once I do purchase one, I'll be using this. Because I think that's so, like, everything is all in one place. So I love that. All right, $100 for groceries. Household is getting 15, so that's 110 and 15. 10 and 15. And like I mentioned, I am filming this at 2 a.m., so I'm just going to apologize beforehand. <laughs> I am just out of it right now. So eating out is going to get $10. That's going to be two fives. Y'all, lately I've been loving Starbucks. Like, I'm new to Starbucks. Like, and when I say new, I mean like two weeks old. So, every day I have been craving Starbucks, but I have been like, no, Taylor, you don't need it. You don't need to go and buy a $5 drink, but they're so good. So, I'm telling you, my eating out money from last paycheck all went to Starbucks, and it's so sad. But 5 and 10 is going to eating out. And that is why I'm keeping it at such a low budget because I know if I gave myself more, I would just go to Starbucks and Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so Lauren is getting 30, 120, and 110. And I do need to buy Lauren some more diapers, but because my mom is so great, 20, 30. Tomorrow morning, she says she's going to go to Walmart to get some groceries and then she's going to buy a big box of pull-ups for Lauren. So... I'm so grateful I don't have to spend that money. And yes, I love my mama. So beauty is getting $50. That's just gonna be 150. And where is my beauty envelope? Oh, I skipped miscellaneous. Did I skip miscellaneous? I did. We'll go back. <laughs> beauty is getting $50. 
Miscellaneous is getting five, and that's five ones. Woo! Two, three, four, five. I am so out of it, but I love filming these videos late at night because my daughter is sleeping. If I were to film this during the day, you would just hear her screaming just throughout the whole video because she's just so loud <laughs> and she just loves to make noise. So my personal envelope is getting 15, so that's going to be three fives. Five, 10, and 15. All right, so that is it for my cash envelopes. We're gonna go ahead and, and move over to my sinking funds. All right, so for my sinking funds, you know, look how thick this sinking funds binder is. Definitely going to need to do a condensing video or exchange bills video very soon. And those are one of my favorite videos to watch. So I'm gonna be really excited when I do that one. So first we're going to stuff vacation and vacation is getting $10. That's just a $10 bill. All right. So let's see how much vacation has. One, two, three, four, five, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. So that's five hundred and seventy nine dollars. Like I say in, in every video, I do not know where Lauren and I are going, but when I do figure it out, I will be funding my vacation in cash. Period. Period. <laughs> so for my birthdays, we're stuffing forty three dollars. So that's going to get two twenties, two twenties, two tens one five and 18 ones one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight all right so in total we have 10 20 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3. And y'all, look at this raggedy one they gave me. Look at this. It has tape on it. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> I have like the raggediest ones in life right now. It's so ugly, but whatever. It's money. So yeah. This is thick, it's thick. Definitely gonna have to condense these, but I'm saving for four birthdays right now, so that is why. All right, so let's go ahead and put this money in here. All right, so this is gonna be a little long, so bear with me. We have, we gonna put this aside, matter of fact. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, three, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 360, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 370, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
spending some money for my grandpa's birthday and I put aside $35 for his birthday. So we're gonna go ahead and take out 35. I know I should have done this beforehand, but I just remembered. 20, 30, 35. So I'm just gonna take that out and then stuff this back in. And that $35 is gonna go into my back to bank envelope because I am I am buying him a gift online. So I'm gonna need to put this back in the bank. So we're gonna go and put this off to the side as well. So for Mother's Day, it's getting 10. So that's gonna be one $10 bill. Are y'all still here with me? <laughs> Are you guys enjoying my craziness? Because, oof, I am so tired. <laughs> So anything is liable to come out of my mouth right now. <laughs> All right, so Mother's Day has 10, 20, 30, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. And my goal is $60 for Mother's Day. Father's Day is getting $4. So that's four ones. One, two, three, four. Father's Day has four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, sixteen. Father's Day goal is forty dollars. Not stuffing Thanksgiving. I should honestly take that out because I won't be stuffing Thanksgiving until July or August. So next is Christmas and Christmas is getting $29. So that's gonna be a 20, a 10, no, a 20, a five, sorry, and four ones. My goal for Christmas is $600. I'm just so excited that I started budgeting because saving for Christmas all year has been such an eye opener. It's just, it's a blessing. It is just crazy to me. Why well, did I like that? All right. So for Christmas, we have 50. No, nope, we're going to put that aside. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 70, so 270. 170, 175, 80, 185, 90, 95, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 16. 2, 16 out of 600. Skipping other holidays, skipping Lauren this time, skipping my envelope, skipping beauty, challenges we'll get back to. Okay, home is gonna get Home in total has 1, 2, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 390. Okay, so household is getting $5, and that is going to be a $5 bill. This is my first time stuffing household. I need a new shower curtain at some point, a shower liner. I need a new garbage can for the bathroom at some point. And that's about it. So I'm saving for that right now. Medical is getting five. Oh, we're skipping car maintenance, boo. Okay, medical is getting five. Twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 
85, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90, 91. All those clothes are messed up, so whatever. $91 for medical. Retirement is getting five. Y'all, I told y'all in my last video, my last cash stuffing video that I would be setting up my Roth IRA by this video and I did not set it up yet, but I will. It's been on my to-do list. I'll get to it, I promise. And then as soon as I do, I'll let you guys know. So retirement now has 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90, 91. Investments is next, and that is getting five. I'm gonna have to like really take out some of the envelopes I'm not using right now and also condense because this binder is on its last leg. Investments is getting a five dollar bill. What are you guys investing in? I really want to know because your girl needs help. I am just so lost when it comes to investing. So investing now has 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90. So $90 in investments, that's pretty good. Student loans is getting $4. If you're new, one, two, three, four. My student loans aren't due for another two years, but I'm saving for them now because I have a lot of them. I'm still praying for debt cancellation. I believe that God will provide. I'll leave my debt confession video up here on the cards right now because I think you guys should definitely check it out. It's just motivation to really just tackle your student loans like i have a lot of student loans and i was like okay can i be should i be i could either be overwhelmed by them or i can just start preparing they're not due they're not making a huge impact on my credit score so i'm good i could buy a home i could buy a car i could do whatever i need to but that number is huge y'all it's huge so i'm saving for them in advance so student loans now has 20, 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, $59. And nothing for rollover. I'm probably going to have to take that out because all of my rollover cash is just going to go towards extra debt. So I'm probably going to take that out too. So now that we have... Oh, we still have my 52 week challenge. Yeah. So now that we have stuffed the sinking funds, we're going to go ahead and start with our challenges, which are my 52 week challenge, my $1 savings challenge. And I'm, act and I'm also, Taylor, I'm also doing the save all your coins challenge, which I'll show you in a second. So for my 52 week challenge, this is week 11 and 12. So I'm stuffing a total of $23. And that's my remaining $23. So it's 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my 52 week challenge tracker just to make sure that we're in alignment with what it's supposed to be. So I did a little ghetto 52 week tracker right here. So week 11 and 12. So we should have $78 in my 52 week envelope. So let's go ahead and see if I do. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seventy-eight. Yes. All right. So by the end of this year, I should, I will, I would have saved one thousand three hundred and seventy-eight dollars. All right. So next, we're gonna move over onto my one dollar savings challenge i'm gonna take this out because i'm actually gonna do 
something different with my one dollar savings money instead of creating an envelope for it i'm going to now put it in a jar because like i said this binder is already packed enough and it doesn't need another envelope so we're going to put this off to the side because we're done with that and we're going to bring over all of the ones from my leftover money from last paycheck so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty thirty one thirty two that is amazing y'all that's amazing thirty two dollars and ones that i've saved from my last paycheck and we do have some ones in here one two three four five six seven eight all right so we're going to go ahead and put these in my new one dollar savings jar which is right here now as you can see i do have my coins in here but what i decided to do was since this is such a big jar and i found another mason jar in my home i'm going to use this little one for my coins and this big one for my one dollar savings challenge now let me know down below in the comments if you guys save your spaghetti sauce jars because that's what we do you can see classico yeah it's from spaghetti sauce so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to transfer these coins over to the little jar and then we're going to put the one dollars into the big jar okay. all right see that's more fulfilling because now i feel like i have more coins than i actually do oh matter of fact your girl has coins from her wallet i'm all over the place today but that's okay so let's see how many coins we have from last paycheck it's a decent amount we got some quarters in there all right so we're gonna stuff that into the jar as well up and then we're just going to put our dollar bills into this jar look at that oh i'm so happy i cannot wait to see this all filled up that is so motivating what i'm going to do with it i don't know but i also decided that i'm not going to count the one dollar savings challenge anymore i'm going to count this up either at a six month mark or at the end of the year we'll see so that's that so the last thing we're going to do with money is put away the leftover 20 tens and fives from my last paycheck into my back to bank envelope because what i'm going to do with this money now 35 of this is for my grandpa's birthday but the remaining of it is going to go to my extra credit card debt so let's put that in my bank envelope. All right. And that is it. We are done. So now we're going to get to the juicy part. We're going to go ahead and announce the giveaway winner. So let's go. Hey y'all, I'm in my bedroom, I'm chilling, and I thought that it would be great to announce the giveaway with you guys seeing my face because you guys have never seen my face before. So hello, hi. So I just wanna say first and foremost, thank you to everyone that entered the giveaway. I thank you for your support. I just thank you for appreciating my content and sticking around and commenting, liking, all that you guys do is greatly appreciated. I just cannot believe that I am at 300 subscribers in a month. So that is such a blessing. I give God all the glory 
and I just thank all of you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up the spin the wheel randomizer that I entered all the names in so that you guys can see the give a win, the give away winner now. So Jenny Budgets, you girl, you won. So thank you so much for supporting, leaving a comment and joining the family. I'm going to try and reach out to you. I see that you have an, an uh, a YouTube channel. So I'm going to comment on one of your videos and see if you have an Instagram so I can DM you. But if you see this before that, come holla at your girl. My Instagram is down below in my description box. I'll put it up here on the screen as well. Holla at me, let me know whether you want Target or Amazon and I'm going to get that over to you. So thank you again, Jenny. I appreciate you and all of you. Of course, I appreciate you. Thank you guys for being a part of the family and I'll be doing another giveaway at 500 subscribers. So share, share my channel if you can. I just, y'all, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful for all of you and this budgeting community. It's amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop because I could talk y'all ears off like for real. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go. And again, thank you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. God bless.